yeah, I think we just we just fought. I mean, at the end of the day, um, they didn't play any different coverages. Um, we didn't call any different plays. It's just guys stepped up to the challenge. I mean, obviously, those those two drives before that where I dirted the fourth down play and threw the interception um, put us in the hole. But I think guys just, just rallied and fought and, and found a way to win the game. What have you seen from Travis over these past few weeks as he's not been putting up what he's typically been putting up that maybe led to him getting back to the goal today? Yeah, I mean, I think what I've seen in Travis just over the last few years um, is the maturity to, to know that it's not it's not about the numbers, it's about winning football games. And I think this year has been big for him where he hasn't put up the, the same numbers, but he's but his mentality has never changed. He's been a leader on this team. Um, he's more happy for anyone uh, other than himself. Um, and, and when his number gets called, he goes out there and makes plays in big moments. And uh, that's what that's what special players do. And uh, he's, a, he's a special player, and I'm glad he's on my team. Yeah, I mean, beyond that, you guys, I mean, obviously, any team that has success, you're happy for them. But you guys seem to really have a special bond. What's it like for you to connect on, on the moment that you did with the well? Yeah, I mean, that was a special moment just in general. I mean, I, I, never, I don't think I've ever been a part of a walk-off uh, touchdown or anything like that. Um, and so... Um, to, to be, be in that moment, find him underneath and him making such a, a dynamic play where, <clears throat> I mean, he cut back, ran, ran by people. I mean, he, he, you would think he's old, so he can't run by people, but he's still running by people. Um, and, and he got in the end zone. It was just a special moment, and I'm glad that, I mean, all that hard work that he puts in every single day is paying off. Yeah, I just said I love you, man. I mean, he was the first guy that came up to me after the interception that was just like, hey, Let's show that heart. Let's show, let's show, get back out there. We believe in you. I mean, it seems like he's always, always that guy for everybody. I mean, he has a true belief in every single person on this team. Um, and, and we feed off that, that energy that he brings every single day. Uh, Patrick, that hard, toughness, whatever you want to call it, not that you weren't tough as a team, but hard, whatever it is, your first year playing. I'm just wondering, do you feel big picture that you guys have taken that part of the football to, to a different level? Yeah, I think these last few weeks, um, you've seen it with the defense and the swagger that they've had. You've seen guys step up on that defense and, and make plays whenever their number's called. Um, and you've seen offense, uh, even when games are, are ugly and they're not the games that you're used to having, stepping up, making drives at the end of games to win football games. Um, and that, that, that's what happened today. I mean, the defense held us in that game, all those fourth down stops um, against a really, really good offense. Um, and then at the end of the day, the offense, we stepped up in those last three drives and, and got down there and, and scored when we needed to. Patrick, you, uh, we talked about all season about how Travis was being played, man doubles, you know, getting physical at the line of scrimmage. Were you surprised down the stretch that he was, you know, one-on-one -on -one and ended up being that wide open? Yeah, they, they brought a pressure off the side, so it kind of had to force them to get in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, coverage. They were trying to catch us in kind of like a, a five-man protection. Um, we were able to get it picked up, so it put him in that one-on-one -on -one situation. So it just, I mean, they had gotten us on that pressure earlier in the game, I think with a nickel uh, coming off and making uh, and getting right to me where I threw the ball away. And so we kind of learned from that. We were able to pick it up. Um, and then it puts our guys in one-on-one -on -one situations, and uh, we have some of the, the best guys in the league at, whenever they're in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Patrick, uh, two, two part thing. What, first, just what, what, what did happen on the ball? You dirted and on the interception, and I'll, I'll ask you to, to follow up. It was just a really shitty throw. Sorry, my language. I mean, that's, that's all it was. <laughs> no, it was, I grabbed the ball, and I, 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 the motion was just a tad late. Uh, I let it go a little too long, and then he was wide open, so I tried to hurry up and just throw it to him. And I didn't grab the ball the way I wanted to, and so I overstrided and just threw it straight into the ground. Yeah, I mean, in this league, that's what you have to do, good or bad. Uh, it doesn't matter what happened that last play. You have to, you have to go out there and, and do it even better that next one. Um, and so, uh, even though it was such a bad moment in the game where we could have taken the lead and we didn't, the defense ended up getting a stop. Um, and then I turned the ball over, and then they they scored. But we were still only one score down. So whenever you still have a fighting chance, you just got to believe that you're going to go out there and make it happen. And uh, I thought the guys stepped up to the challenge, made some big plays happen there at the end of the game, um, and we were able to find a way to win it.